Hey everyone, this is Lonnie, and I'm back with another episode of Violet Devagon. But before I do talk about this episode, here is a little Alex promotion right here. Please be sure to check out all these links in the description box if you also find links to this reaction video of this episode. And uh, I, I don't, I do know that I don't get much time to comment and make commentary on the video at the episode as I watch it because honestly, many times it's simply so breathtaking, it's so beautiful, and it's so much about emotions and feelings in it and uh, i really love that and i really happy we get to see more about the other characters like now we get to see about iris about her family and uh, the things that are going on there the, the little drama i mean usually i'm not a big fan of you know these drama shows like whatever they are named you know but as that is i mean it, it is not overdone or anything like that it's it's simply as life can be and honestly i get i get speechless many times watching this because it's so beautiful and being a writer myself i not a good one though but i'm trying and seeing how much they talk about the words i mean as violet is seeking to understand what the major meant when he said, I love you. And thinking on it, it's easy to say, I love you. But it's not easy to mean it for real. I'm really put in. I mean, it's, it's very complicated between words and feelings. And as this, as they also said in this episode that many times, you said something, but depending on your feeling for it, it the word can change the meaning. I mean, for example, we have like when uh, often a parent and a child maybe argue and the child suddenly scream, I hate you and walk away. Most of the time, at least, it's it's they don't hate the parent or anything like that or the friend or whatever, but it's just about the moment and usually it's more that they love them so much and uh, it hurts them to not be able to convey their meanings and feelings between each other and all that and I think that is really interesting and deep in this sense because I, I know I'm rambling a lot randomly about this but honestly I think this is really interesting because you go they go in so deep about words and the feeling i mean i've watched steins gate that, that was much about time and paradoxes and all that that was really interesting uh, i watched uh, fate serum fate stay night which is much, much about history as well the cool action all that but and boku no Academia, all about action about being a hero and now here we're talking about words and emotions and feelings and just there i think it's very interesting to see between the difference between these animes and shows i mean generally i mean we get to learn when the people say like it's just cartoons it's just anime what it's it's a child shows and i'm like is it really i mean many words these characters have said is more important for us than real people said and these shows and these characters have for many of us been part of our maybe our childhood is when we have feeling ill and not well they have been there and supporting us in their own way just by existing and there is so many great things with it and the reason why i love anime and honestly i'm actually really happy to be part of this community to create and watching more animes with all of you I mean, first of all, I probably wouldn't have seen Violet Evergarden. I hadn't watched Fate Sale or anything like that. And now I'm here watching all of, all of this with you and really happy to be part of it. And there are things that definitely 
it's hard to describe. I mean, I know that I many times struggles with work when I'm talking here, but first of all, this English is not my main language, so to speak. I, uh, I'm Swedish, so Swedish is my... And even then, even when I speak Swedish, many times it's hard for me to convey the words because my brain goes like this and my mouth doesn't really keep up with that. And that is the same thing that when p people say words to me, when I'm reading your comments, I read them. I take those words in. I, I, they mean super much to me. It makes me so happy to see. As well that if someone writes something really bad or awful to me, it do hurt me. Though, I, as it is now compared to me for five years ago, I can deal with it with a different way. But it still affects me. And when people say that, shut off the internet, you can ignore that. It doesn't matter. The damage is already done because I have read the word and it's in my brain. And then, of course, I all, all, many times think that this person that wrote this probably doesn't mean that. They probably have their own problems or just trying to start something. And many times I'm like literally just replying. But OK, if you think so, you do. That is in the end. And I'm trying to think like that because trying to have a bit more wave with the bad words. I mean, when people are writing something bad, I'm trying to like tone that down. And when people write positive things, I try to raise it because I think that the positive words and all that, we need that. That means so much to me. Seriously, when you write, this this was good, it was really interesting to see you. And I try, I'm raising that really high up because it means some a lot to me that is why i take time to come reply your comments and all that even if you take i mean w now when i was trying to record well reply after one week away it took me about one hour to do that but i was really happy to do it because you have taken time to write taken time to watch the things i do here and i want to give that back i want to be part of this and uh, seriously I, that is why I'm thinking it's very important how to deal with words because I'm trying either I try to raise the positive words and lowering the negative words that they won't have the same impact on me. As well, will I try many times many, simply to mess with the one that have been writing these bad things that are twisting these things as I make it positive in a sense. Even if it's not, I just do that mainly to mess with them. And honestly, I don't take that seriously. Then and it feels better for me. But yeah, that is power of the word. It's so, oh man, I mean, that, 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 it's complicated at times. But, you know, I will be back with more Violet Ever God and very soon. Because it's a terrible song for a random round and all that. But it makes me feel so much. I love this show. So thank everyone. See you later on. And most of all, though, have a continued super great day.